When playing the bowling ball herding game, we want to go fast, but we also don't want to hit the ball very much. When should we hit the ball? It should be clear that there are two distinct reasons to hit the ball. We hit the ball to change its speed. We hit the ball to change its direction. Let's look carefully at how we do these two things. Suppose the ball is just sitting on the ground. It has no speed. If I hit it forward, it gains forward speed. If I hit it backwards, it gains backward speed. If it's already moving forward and I hit it forward, it will go forward faster. If it's already going forward and I hit it backwards, it will keep going forwards, but slower. Notice that when I want to change the speed of the ball, I hit the ball parallel to its direction of motion. Suppose I want the ball to follow this curved path around the pin. If I get the ball started on this path, it does not stay on the path for very long. I need to constantly hit the ball to change the direction and keep it on the path. Notice that when I want to change the direction of the ball, I hit the ball perpendicular to its direction of motion. What if I want to make a 90 degree turn? If I push the ball down the path, it does not stay on the path by itself. I need to hit it to change its direction. When should I hit it? At the corner. Okay, which way should I hit it? In the direction I want it to go? That didn't work. The problem is that the ball is moving forward, and once it gets to the corner, I want to make two adjustments. I want to stop going forward and I want to start going sideways. To get it to stop moving forward, I could push it backwards. To get it to start moving sideways, I need to push it sideways. I can do both of these at the same time with a single hit if I do this. Let's watch that happen. There it is. Yep. Let's go back to the game. What's the minimum number of hits needed to get through the course? Here's a drawing of the course. Let's draw the path of the ball again. If I want the ball to do this, I would have to hit it a bunch of times. That ruins my score. A better path might look like this. Now I only have to hit the ball four times. Here, 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 and here. This would be ideal. In this ideal scenario, we need the ball to make extreme direction changes as it goes around the pin. Can we really get the ball to make such an extreme course correction with just one hit? Yes, we can. When we hit the ball with the persuader, we are exerting a force on the ball. For the next couple of weeks, we're going to study forces. By now, you've probably realized that forces are going to be vector quantities because direction matters. Let's summarize what we have seen so far with this game. There are two big ideas you should understand based on this activity. Forces can change the speed of an object. Forces can change the direction of an object. Thanks for watching.